Hi, I'm Abhishek Kumar Shastri. And I am Animesh Kumar Shastri. And we propose an experiment on Weizenberg effect for the NASA YouTube Space Lab Challenge. Weizenberg effect is a phenomenon shown by many non neutron fluid in which when a rod dipped into the fluid is rotated, the fluid climbs up the rod, like shown here. The main question which I would like to answer in this experiment is what is the effect of G on Weizenberg effect and if possible test whether Weizenberg effect happens on neutron fluids like water or not under micro G conditions. As per one theory, the equation governing the shape of the liquid in the Weizenberg effect is this where R0 is the radius of the rod dipped and R is the radial distance of any point in the liquid from the center of the rod and V sub X10 and V sub X20 are the coefficient of both normal, st normal stress differences and as seen here as G tends to 0, H tends to infinity so the liquid in Weizenberg effect should go on traveling the rod in the upper direction but this equation neglects the effect of surface tension which probably cannot be neglected under micro G conditions the setup for the experiment is as follows. Here we have two transparent cylinders with flat top and bottom and the top portion has a hole so that the rod can be inserted into it. The two cylinders are connected with a lid which has a hole of diameter capital D which is related to small d. The diameter of this rod by the relation capital D is equal to small d plus 4 cm. Now the bottom cylinder contains a pancake batter solution up to 7.5 cm and the rod is dipped into the batter up to 2.5 cm from the surface of the batter. The top portion of the rod is connected to a motor which rotates it and as the rod rotates the batter climbs the rod upward and as not has to measure how much time the batter takes to climb each centimeter against this graduated scale and the same experiment can be repeated with water to test the secondary aim of the experiment uh, and the expected result is that the batter will take uh, a constant time to climb each centimeter and with uh, water the result will be negative